एवरी थर्सडे डॉक्टर रोहित कुमार डॉक्टर रामना हमारे साथ होती है आज डॉक्टर रामना हमारे साथ है डिस्कसिंग अबाउट लैप्रोस्कोपिक सर्जरी मिनिमल इनवेजिव सर्जरी द बेनिफिट्स गुड मॉर्निंग डॉक्टर रामना गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल ऑफ यू एंड अपॉलोजीज फ्रॉम डॉक्टर रोहित साइड ही गॉट एन इमरजेंसी कॉल सो हैड टू रश सो आई एम हेयर टूडे टू टॉक अबाउट लैप्रोस्कोपिक एंड मिनिमली इन्वेजिव सर्जरी राइट सो इफ यू हैव टू पुट इन टू ली मैं what is the laparoscopic uh, surgery okay so laparoscopy uh, which the layman comes and talks about is like a camera wala surgery ya camera wala operation mm-hmm. and uh, this is how they understand what is laparoscopy because um, now everyone is coming up with a concept that uh, no one wants big cuts and everyone wants to leave the hospital as soon as possible everyone wants to be pain free with as minimum pain killers as possible to laparoscopy ek aisi cheez hai jisme hum chote ya fine cuts ke zariye andar ja kar body mein kafi sari surgeries perform kar sakte hain aur kyunki cuts chote hote hain skin pe skin is a actually a pain sensitive area सो स्किन पे जितना बड़ा कट होगा उतना ज्यादा पेन रहेगा और उतना लंबा पेशेंट हॉस्पिटल में रुकेगा और बहुत सारे पेन किलर्स लेने पड़ेंगे उनकी मोबिलिटी थोड़ी रिस्ट्रिक्ट हो जाती है काम पे जल्दी नहीं जा पाते तो लेप्रोस्कोपी इन सब से एक काइंड ऑफ छुटकारा है बिकॉज वी गिव दम वेरी स्मॉल कट्स एंड वी गो इन साइड वी परफॉर्म द सेम प्रोसीजर्स विच in like back days they used to perform with an open cut big cuts and at the end uh, they get a better cosmesis super so, cost cutting ki baat kar rahe to yahan pe bhi kafi cost cutting ho raha hai in terms of surgery but for better right <laughs> yeah that's true but when you talk about laparoscopic surgeries now how effective are these surgeries in comparison to you know the open cut surgeries okay laparoscope so that was the concept is that laparoscopy uh, can with the laparoscopy you can perform all the surgeries which were being done in the olden times through open so uh, it's just about the change of era and it's just about that the same people or the same surgeons they are being trained before long time back they were being trained in open surgery so they were doing open surgeries now they are being trained in the laparoscopic surgery which is minimally invasive surgery one thing is for sure that uh, all who are, all the surgeons who are performing laparoscopic surgery they know how the open surgery goes by as well mm. uh, so it's a myth only that people think that you know uh, open surgery is more safer or you know you can go inside and see the organs or touch the organ feel the organ and surgeon will do or perform better surgeries no it's not true because laparoscopy is way much better than an open surgery why because whenever we do a laparoscopic surgery it's a camera or a keyhole whenever we go inside we see everything on the screen mm-hmm. which is uh, you know magnified view so if i am performing a surgery anyone around the operation theater can have a look at the surgery okay. rather than when i am doing an open surgery only me or my first assistant can only see what is happening inside the abdomen second thing is that every every common surgery for example if we talk about general surgery a gallbladder surgery a hernia surgery an appendix surgery even tumor surgery or gynecological all procedures can be done easily with laparoscopic surgeries right and when you talk about the images uh, that you get through these surgeries are they of good quality and i believe that's a myth you'd like to bust yes uh the images are as i said they are even magnified ones and they are better than what we see through our naked eye when we open abdomen and see 4k me 4k me image aata hai because in laparoscope even we we can see few drops of blood or few ml of blood which we may ignore when we are doing an open surgery mm. so uh it's just a myth that the images are not clear or anything because Uh, at the end of the day it's a surgeon the same surgeon who is performing the laparoscopic surgery and yes uh, it's ve- very few times it happens when you know a uh, patient has had previous surgeries or because of any other reason if it's difficult at any point a surgeon feels which is nowadays very rare that it's difficult to end up this surgery with the laparoscopy then we can always convert it to open but nowadays the chances are very less तो आपने लिस्ट आई एम श्योर थोड़ा बहुत बताया है बट व्हाट सर्जरीज आर कवर्ड लैप्रोस्कोपिकली आप कर सकते हो ओके सो मोस्ट ऑफ द सर्जरीज इफ वी टॉक ऑफ जनरल सर्जरी अपेंडिक्स हर्निया हर्निया में बहुत सारे हर्नियाज आ जाते हैं स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम 
the upper abdomen which we call epigastric hernia then coming to the belly button which is umbilical hernia then coming down to the inguinal areas jo ke males mein zyada common hota along the groin crease but females mein bhi hota hai inguinal hernias phir kuch internal hernia hote hain jaise ke hiatus hernia these all can be performed laparoscopically apart from that ab ab to jaise uh, rectal surgeries jo hain even colon surgeries colon cancers तो वो भी आप लैप्रोस्कोप के जरिए अंदर जाकर जो भी पार्ट रिसेक्ट करना है निकालना है दे ऑल कैन बी डन इजीली विद द लैप्रोस्कोप सेम गोज फॉर गायनोकोलॉजिकल प्रोसीजर्स ओवेरियन सिस्ट ओवेरियन ट्यूमर्स यूट्राइन ट्यूमर्स लॉट ऑफ फीमेल्स दे हैव अ थिक यूट्रस वी कॉल इट एडीनोमायोमेटोसिस विच इज नॉट लेटिंग दैम बिकम प्रेगनेंट दीज आर सम प्रोसीजर्स विच वी डू टू treat the infertility so these all are actually done with the laparoscope or a keyhole and uh, everywhere in dubai i'm sure but at international modern hospital yes we do all procedures laparoscopically or international modern hospital ke sath agar aapko in touch hona hai the number to call is 04406300 ya imh.ep bhi ja sakte hai rohitkumar.com pe bhi aap ja sakte hai dr ramna is talking about laparoscopic surgery agar aapke paas koi bhi sawal you can always send us a whatsapp we are actually discussing about the myths that are associated with laparoscopic surgery and minimal invasive surgery right now next one on our list dr amna is does the robot ever malfunction and is a malfunction dangerous can the machine actually go haywire <laughs> okay no it does not because uh, robot anyway is a surgeon operated it it's not like a machine is just operating on its own and uh, it does not goes like uh, we have not heard or seen till now how because before every surgery we have to um, change the function of the robot and you know uh, we have to make it sure that it performs what is being thought or uh, what is being uh, registered in it so it does not malfunction and it's not uh, dangerous at all only the thing is that it needs much more expertise so mm. it is one level higher than a laparoscopic surgery but uh, wherever robotic surgeries are being performed it's safe it's good and uh, it's just a myth as you said that it malfunctions it does not but it's scary right to i mean as a patient maybe not as a doctor but as a patient when i am lying on the bed and i'm seeing this robotic arm trying to operate me through matlab डर तो लगा रहता है राइट लाइक व्हाट आई फील पर डर के आगे जीत है यू नो यू वांट बी एबल टू सी आगे <laughs> no you won't be able to see the robot because robot is performing the surgeries which are mostly done in general anesthesia doctor you'll be ke, put to sleep before yeah that. doctor ke aankhe khule hote patient ke nahi uh, you you cannot I will be, be put to sleep yeah yeah you will be under anesthesia because um so any laparoscopic or a robotic surgery cannot be done when the patient is uh, awake right so patient uh, or anyone is awake when we are performing any procedure under local anesthesia uh which is like just making the area numb and doing the procedure but here today we are talking about the laparoscopic surgery in which we have to go inside the abdominal cavity mm. and we have to put a gas to create space inside the abdominal cavity for us to perform the surgery so which cannot happen without a general anesthesia so the first thing when you enter the operation theater will will be like anesthetist will see you greet you meet you and then next you will be sleeping and ah. then once we perform the surgery you are awake the next moment so right. basically chain se sona hai to jaag jao bhai <laughs> just kidding just kidding now open surgery kehte hai ki it is better kyunki surgeon jo hai na wo better apni aankhon se dekh sakte hai how true or how effective this is uh, it's not true at all as i again i'll mention again because uh, whenever we are doing an open surgery people have this mindset that a surgeon can see directly inside the abdomen cavity but that's what i'm telling when we are doing a laparoscopic surgery with a small keyhole or a camera we can see the entire abdominal cavity very nicely okay. we can even focus to the area where we want to go and depending on what surgeries to be performed we can put one or two extra trocars or small cuts to go inside to a instruments and then see that area second thing if a surgeon is performing a laparoscopic surgery 10 people who are standing sitting or they are around in the operation theater will have the same visual what a surgeon's visual is third thing we can even record the surgery what we are doing which cannot happen in an open surgery Right. fourth thing that uh, you don't actually have to feel the any anything or any intestine or anything to perform a surgery so it's just a myth 
that uh, open surgery is good because open surgery is more detrimental in terms that uh, you will have a lifelong scar scars don't fade away they always stay there and uh, second thing you may need painkiller for a little longer time so if we take a very small example of a simple surgery which we perform on almost day to day basis is like a laparoscopic cholecystectomy so uh, we do laparoscopic cholecystectomy with just small four cuts mm -hmm. and uh, olden times like long back it used to be done with a very wide or a big incision just under your costal margin or the rib cage on the right side so uh, it used to be a disfigured scar patient used to stay in hospital for at least two nights or minimum one night mm -hmm. and uh, they need to be on a painkiller for quite some time since the cut is not on the skin it goes deep to the muscles also so their mobility their pain and their change of postures everything was quite painful for at least a week so doctors used to give a week's rest after a gallbladder surgery on the contrary nowadays when we are doing a keyhole surgery to remove the gallbladder all cuts are even less than 1 cm we close them with absorbable stitches we give them waterproof dressing which is like 2 by 3 cm the dressing itself the same day they go home surgery takes only 20 minutes so they undergo anesthesia 20 minutes same day they go home on their own they eat normal food they are mobilized the way they were before surgery and they don't need even painkiller for like we give them but like when we call them patients in follow up they lot of them they say doctor we didn't get the pain only right so it's less painful the scars are not there almost so it's also called a scarless surgery and uh, their mobility is like they're up and about the same day there are no dietary restrictions so definitely um, laparoscopic surgery is way more better and advanced than a open surgery but have open surgeries now dr amna become the thing of the past or i mean are they still in practice do doctors still practice them or have we moved onward from that to a laparoscopic uh, surgery okay um open surgeries now i think in this uh, where we are living in dubai or most of the parts of the world now even when the patient comes up and tells you that you know then they want to do a surgery with you or it's an elective case definitely uh, they come and they tell you that you know hume camera wala surgery chahiye. so now even the awareness is such that the patient themselves they don't want big cuts so they come up with the thing that we need the laparoscopic surgery now the surgeons are being trained in laparoscopic surgery so we have moved away from the open surgery but we cannot completely you know remove it or forget it because lot of times in emergency situations in trauma situations where sometimes the we have to save the patient's life for example if a road traffic accident has happened someone has bled inside so much they are in a hemorrhagic shock or we have to treat them by doing a surgery definitely we cannot put gas inside their abdomen to see so that is the time we have to do an open surgery to see where and what is bleeding and uh, definitely there are few areas generally it's a trauma or an emergency surgery where it's a surgeon's uh, you know surgeon's choice or the surgeon's comfort and the patient's benefit that he decides to do an open surgery which is very less and rare but yes uh, we do it but not very frequently right uh, well we will continue this discussion with dr amna about uh, surgeries and minimal invasive surgeries but just after the break